First time I came to the lakes, I was a student, probably 2005. Um, the best thing about it, though, was being in the mountains. So you're climbing on a essentially roadside crag, but in this amazing valley. And it made me want to go climbing again in the mountains. There's something about you walk a little bit further, you climb a little bit longer, and then the top outs, they're hard won, aren't they? And stuff that's hard won is better. So I reckon we've got several options, but we can go up to White Gill, yeah. see what the condition's like, and then we've got the choice out of either comfortable trad, we've got the choice out of steady trad, or biggest of all, we've got the solid trad. So plan is we're gonna head up Haste Knot, classic VS. Haste Knot. Haste Knot. Yep. And I'm gonna do the first pitch into the second pitch using a lot of slings to extend the quick draws. So that'll just save us a wee bit of time. Rachel, I don't like to confess this, but those small cans would actually be quite useful. Don't, don't rub it in. I don't want to talk about it. Every time I come to the lakes, I think, wow, I wish I came to the lakes more. It's easy to not come because the weather might be bad or you can make an excuse, but there's just something about being in these valleys that is different to anywhere else in England and Wales. I am not a fan of seconding traverses, especially when the holds seem really far apart. So I did a really cool slither down what they describe as a bottomless coffin. I mean, I thought I looked excellent, but Rob said I didn't. That was exciting. I think this feels scary on second. Every time I climb in the Lake District, I go to a crag, which I because I've climbed less in the lakes than some other areas, I often go to new crags, and then I'll climb maybe one or two routes, but I'll see another three or four that I haven't done that look amazing, like Haste Knot. And so if you can imagine it then, you keep coming back because you go to one crag and you'll see a load more routes you've never done. And I guess it's never ending, because I'm going to go to Dove Crag and then climb one route and then see another two, and it just never gets boring. You've got to invest a bit more time and effort, but in the long run, it's worth it.